In previous videos, we have developed the circuit model for PV cells. These models require several parameters that are characteristic of the particular cell being modeled. Specifically, we need the um, photon current IPH, the two resistances R shunt and R series, the diode non-ideality or the diode ideality factor A, and the reverse saturation current IO. Now, these parameters are not directly given in the data sheets of commercial PV modules. So, in this video, we will, de we will derive the expressions needed to estimate or extract these parameters from the information contained in typical PV module data sheets so that we can accurately model these modules for our analysis and simulation. Okay, so this is our complete model of the PV cell the light intensity dependent uh, current source IPH in parallel with the forward biased uh, diode whose uh, current is given by this uh, equation, this exponential equation. And finally the two uh, parasitic resistances modeling the losses. The module manufacturers give the currents and voltages at a few salient conditions. They also sweep the uh, terminal voltage from zero to open circuit voltage and give the corresponding current versus voltage and the power versus voltage plots. Now these information together can be used to determine the various parameters like the uh, I photon, the, the two resistances and the diode characteristics. Those can be obtained from, uh, from the information given in the, in the data sheets. For most practical applications, there are multiple PV cells connected in series to form a module. So this is a cell 1, cell 2, all the way up to cell Ns, where Ns is the total number of cells connected in series for that particular module. Now, typical values for Ns ranges from about 36 cells to about 72 cells, giving an open circuit voltage in the range of about 20 volts to about 45, 45 volts. Now, it's important to remember that the information contained in a data sheet of a PV module corresponds to the entire um, entire module uh, that includes all the series connected cells. Okay, the model for the complete series connected module is uh, shown here. The IPH is same as the um, photon current of a single PV cell. The diode characteristics is uh, is similar with uh, two key differences. First is that the voltage across the diode is larger by a factor of Ns. So instead of about 0.6 volts um, open circuit voltage, it is um, uh, Ns times the 0.6. And, uh, and also the, uh, the thermal voltage, which is this AKT divided by Q, that also needs to be scaled by the factor Ns. So the equivalent thermal voltage, Vt, is Ns times the thermal voltage of a single PV cell. The two resistances are also different. So the value of uh, the series resistance Res for the entire module is the uh, is Ns times the series resistance of a single PV cell. Similarly, R shunt is Ns times the shunt resistance of a single PV cell. Now, once again, to re-emphasize, the expressions that we develop in this video directly give the parameter values for the complete PV module. Now, if for some reason we need to obtain the individual cell parameters, uh, maybe to study the partial shading uh, within, a, within a given PV module, for example. Uh, in that case, we need to divide some of the values that we obtain uh, by this uh, Ns to get the corresponding parameter values for a single PV cell. Now, to recap some of the things that we looked at in the previous videos, the uh, current versus voltage characteristics of a PV module looks like the plot at the top. Now, this corresponds to uh, five different values of irradiance levels ranging from 1000 watts per meter squared to 200. And uh, this particular module consists of 10 cells in series. The plot at the bottom shows the power versus voltage characteristic of the same 10 cell module. Uh, so, this is the um, short circuit current at this uh, irradiance condition. This is the corresponding open circuit voltage and this is the corresponding peak power, P, maximum power point, power PMP and the corresponding um, voltage and the currents at the maximum power point can be look, looked at uh, just going above in the, uh, at the same voltage level uh, looking at the IV curves. 
Now to illustrate what type of information is available in a typical module data sheets, let's look at an example. This example is from um, uh, SunTech Power, uh, a major manufacturer of uh, PV panels and the example corresponds to uh, 245 watts peak uh, panel STP245. Now the uh, current voltage the IV and the power voltage PV curves are obtained experimentally using uh, using an IV curve tracer and the corresponding plots are shown at the top so these uh, horizontal lines those are the IV curves and these are the power uh, voltage uh, curves. The uh, scale for the power is given on the right going from 0 to 250 watts so you can see the uh, peak power is roughly the 245 that I mentioned. Now even though I have not shown the test conditions here these curves are obtained at the standard test conditions STC uh, that corresponds to an irradiance of 1000 watts per square meter uh, temperature of 25 degrees Celsius and an air mass AM of uh, 1.5. Okay. The uh, data sheets also give the currents and voltages at uh, three salient operating conditions. So the first condition is the open circuit condition. So the open circuit voltage VOC here is uh, 37.3 volts. So the current uh, of course under open circuit is zero. Uh, the second salient condition is the short circuit condition. So the corresponding short circuit current ISC is 8.52 amperes and of course the voltage is zero under this condition. The third salient condition is the maximum power point condition. So the uh, maximum uh, the voltage at the maximum power point so the VMP is uh, 30.5 volts and the corresponding current under this condition the maximum power point current IMP is uh, 8.04 amperes and the product of these two IMP times VMP should be equal to the maximum power of 245 watts. Um, another key um, information needed to get the parameters of our model is the number of cells connected in series, the NNS, and that is equal to 60 for this uh, STP245 arranged in an array of uh, 6 by 10 cells. Now, clearly, um, the data sheet does not directly give the uh, required parameters of our model. So it does not give the I photon, the um, reverse saturation current or the resistance values. Uh, so using these um, values, especially these four VMP, IMP, VOC and ISC and this um, number of cells information as well as by estimating the slopes of the IV curves under uh, short circuit condition and near open circuit condition. Uh, using these uh, information, we can um, determine the um, the parameters needed in our model and that is what is going to be the focus of the rest of this video. So the first parameter that we will learn to uh, estimate is the photon current IPH. Now for this we look at the uh, short circuited condition. So at short circuit uh, obviously the terminal voltage is 0, V equals 0 and uh, by definition the external current I is the short circuit current ISC. Now the value of ISC is given in the data sheet uh, but only at the STC, the standard test conditions uh, as given here. Therefore the photon current that we obtain uh, from the equation that we are going to develop would correspond only to the STC condition and for other values of irradiance and temperature we need to scale it suitably and that is something that we will see in the next slide. Okay. Now getting back to the short circuit condition. And uh, normal values of uh, RS, the series resistance, uh, we can say that the diode voltage VD, which is uh, 0 plus ISC times RS, uh, that is also going to be small uh, because RS is in the range of uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 ohms. And even though ISC can be 8, 9 amperes, their product is uh, still small. Uh, or at least it's comparable to the thermal voltage. So in this expression, this is really e to the uh, VD diode voltage over VT. So if that is um, if these two are comparable, uh, then e to the uh, close to one uh, minus one. So that's going to be a small number, and that multiplied by I naught, which is uh, in the nano ampere region. So uh, we can say that for short circuit condition, for small values of RS this entire term corresponding to this uh, diode current ID 
is negligible uh, close to zero uh, similarly by the same argument since uh, vd uh, or the the voltage across the shunt resistance is very small the the shunt current is also uh, negligible close to zero therefore uh, what we see from this equation for the current is that under short circuit current uh, condition the i is isc and that is simply equal to the i photon so therefore our um, first equation for parameter uh, ex extraction is that i photon is simply equal to the short circuit current isc now of course this is um, um, since isc is given only at stc the i photon estimated is also corresponding to just the standard test conditions okay and then to get the uh, photon current value under any arbitrary conditions other than the stc we can uh, use uh, this expression okay so here we make use of the fact that the photon current is uh, linearly proportional to the solar irradiance level so that is uh, uh, accounted for by this uh, gain term okay? so we multiply the photon current measured um, the isc stc is a short circuit current under uh, standard test conditions stc so we scale that by this factor g over g stc where g is the solar irradiance under the given condition at which we want the photon current and g stc uh, of course is the solar irradiance under standard test conditions or under 1000 watts per square meter okay. um, then the other effect is the effect of the temperature and uh, the data sheets give this uh, temperature coefficient of the short circuit current isc so that is this k sub i so we um, um, add this term ki times delta t where delta t is a temperature difference between our operating condition and the stc which is 25 degrees celsius cell temperature okay. now ki times delta t gives a variation in the photon current and we just add that to the uh, short circuit current under stc so this equation gives the complete photon current under any general condition of solar irradiance and temperature.